flows, not allowing Robert to take over. You are learning to drive. While you are learning, you have to be aware and alert. A danger is there. You do not know how to drive and anything can happen. So you will have to be alert. That is why learning is so painful. Now you have to be alert constantly. When you have learned driving, the driving has been given, passed on to the robot part of your mind. This is your physical mind. Now you can go on smoking, singing, listening to the radio or talking to a friend or loving your girlfriend or boyfriend. You can go on doing anything and the robot part of your being will drive. This does not happen with driving alone or for that matter anything, be it cooking, be it any act that you perform in life, you will not be needed. You are relieved of the burden. The robot will do everything. You will not even have to remember where to turn. The robot will know where to turn, where to stop, where not to stop, what to do and what not to do. You are not needed. You are relieved of the job. The robot does everything. If something very suddenly happens, some accident or something that the robot cannot tackle because it is not trained in it, only then you will be needed. This happens while driving at times. Suddenly there will be a jerk in your body the robot will be replaced by you, replaced and you will come in its place. You can feel that joke when suddenly you feel that an accident is going to happen. There is a joke inside. The robot moves away, giving place to you. Now you are driving. And when the accident is avoided, or the situation is over, again the robot will take over. You will relax and robot will drive. And this is necessary for life because there are so many things to do. And if there is no robot to do them, you will not be capable of doing them at all. So a robot is needed. It is a necessity. I am not against the robot, the physical mind. Go and give unto the robot whatsoever you learn, but remain the master. Do not allow the robot to become the master. This is the problem. Because the robot will try to be the master, Remember, the robot is more efficient than you. Sooner or later, robot will say, be completely retired. You are not needed. I can do things more efficiently. Remember, remain the master. What can be done in order for you to remain the master of the robot? Only one thing is possible, and that is sometimes, without any danger, take the reins into your own hands. Tell the robot to relax, come into the seat, back seat, and drive the car without any danger. Because in danger, it is again automatic, the joke, the happens, the robot is replaced by you, this is automatic. You are driving and suddenly without any necessity, 
tell Robert to relax. You come into the seat and drive the car. You are walking. Suddenly remember and tell the body, now you, now I will walk continuously. The robot is not allowed. I am the master and I will move the body consciously. You are hearing me. It is the robot part of you that is listening to me, which is this is how it happened. Suddenly give a jerk to it. Not that when it comes in the moments of necessity. And do not allow the mind to come in. Hear me directly and consciously. What to do? I mean when I say hear consciously. When you are hearing unconsciously, you are just focused on me and you have forgotten yourself completely. I exist, the ex speaker exists, but the listener is unconscious. You are not aware of yourself as the listener. When I say, take the reins in your hand, I mean be aware of the two points. There is a two points the speaker and the listener. I am speaking. I am a speaker and you are the listener. But at the same time, as I am listen, speaking, I am listening to also. The consciousness has become a double arrow. One is pointing towards you, the other is pointing towards me. And if you are aware of the two points, the speaker and the listener, you have become the third. And that third is the witness. There is a part of me that is speaking and a part of me that is listening. And what am I doing? There is a witness that is witnessing the speaker in me, the listener in me, the nuances. It listens to the nuances. It feels the effect that these nuances, these arrangement of the words, the energy that flows through these words will work. This witnessing will help you to remain the master. And if you are the master, your robot cannot distinguish to be your life. Otherwise, it happens on a regular basis. The robot disturbs your life. Robot is constantly disturbing your life. Your total life has become a mess because of this robot. It helps. It is efficient. But it goes on taking everything from you, even those things which should not be given to you. When you are making love, it is robot-like. You are not the participant, just a robot-like everything is happening. Be aware of the one who is involved into it, who is doing it, and the one who is watching. You have fallen in love. It is beautiful in the beginning because it has been given, it has not been given to the robot yet. You are learning, you are alive. Because you are learning, so in the process you are alive, aware, alert and love has its own tremendous beauty. But sooner or later, the robot will take it over. You will become a husband or a wife and you will have given the charge of love making to the robot. Then you will say to your spouse, I love you 
but you will not be saying it. Instead of you, the robot will be saying it. Most of us are not aware of this physical happening. Things happen mechanically, robot-like manner. You are doing everything as if the, the robot is doing in you. The robot will record it, will be saying it, the record. Then it is a recorded thing. You just play it again and again, same words, same message. And your spouse will understand it because whenever your robot says, I love you, it means nothing. After some time you realize these words have no meaning for you. And when your spouse says, I love you, you, you too will know it is nothing. Because a sentence given as a record, it only creates noise without any sense. There is no sense in it. Then you will want to do everything yet you are not doing it. Then love becomes a burden and one even wants to escape from love. All your feelings and relationships are now directed and controlled by the robot. That is why sometimes you insist on not doing a certain thing, but the robot insists that you do it. Because the robot is trained to do it, you are always a failure and the robot always succeeds. You say, I am not going to be angry again, but your saying is meaningless because the robot is trained and the training has been long. So just a sentence in the mind that I am not going to be angry again. You will not have any effect. Your word will not have any meaning. This robot has been trained for long. So next time when someone insults you, your decision not to be angry will be of no help. The robot will take charge immediately and Robert will do whatever it is trained to do. And then in the end, the Robert has done it. You will repent again. But the difficulty is this, that even this repentance is done by the Robert. Just like driving, just like making love. Because you have always done that. After the danger, you have repented. After the anger has happened, you have repented. The robot has learned that trick now. It will repent and again you will do the same thing. That is why many times you feel that you have done something, said something, behaved in a certain manner in spite of yourself. What does this ex what does this expression, in spite of yourself, means? In spite of myself, it has happened. I didn't want to do it, but it happened. It means that there is another self within you which can act, which can do anything in spite of you. Who is that self? The robot. Enough for now.